डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर कुणाल केशरी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट जी वी पंत सोशल साइंस इंस्टीट्यूट अलाहाबाद टूडे वी विल बी कवरिंग अ पार्ट ऑफ पेपर ऑन माइग्रेशन एंड अर्बनाइजेशन अ मॉड्यूल ऑन एस्टिमेशन ऑफ लाइफ टाइम एंड इंटरसेंसल माइग्रेशन फ्रॉम प्लेस ऑफ बर्थ डेटा लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल आर first to learn what are the direct and indirect techniques of estimation of migration then estimation of lifetime migration from place of birth data estimation of intersensual migration from place of birth data migration is the third component of demographic change after fertility and mortality the importance of migration and its effect on the growth and rise of a population has been well recognized it may be regarded as an important tool in the growth of a population and labor force of an area the analysis and measurement of migration find its use in the preparation of population estimates and projections for a nation or part thereof techniques used for measuring or estimating internal migration have been classified into two categories like direct techniques and indirect techniques the direct techniques are based on the movements of persons questions on the following items provide information for the direct estimation of migration movements the place of birth of the person the last or previous place of residence of the persons or the duration of stay of a person at the present place of residence the indirect techniques of estimating migration do not require special questions the extent of migration can be estimated from the total counts in a census and the available age sex distribution of the population estimation of lifetime migration from place of birth data is one of the most important direct technique in almost every census a question is asked on a person's place of birth place of birth is the place where an individual is born in the census direct questions are asked about the place of birth of an individual such as where was this person born the answer to this question may be recorded in many ways depending upon the degree of details required for example name of the town district state and rural or urban place those born in other countries may be recorded separately on the basis of the information obtained through this question all enumerated persons in the population can be classified in either of the following groups first migrants or lifetime migrants defined as persons who are enumerated in a place which is different from the place where they were born and second non migrants defined as persons who were enumerated in the place where they were born the category of migrants is then further subdivided into various migration streams on the basis of specific places of birth and places of residence when the information stabulated by place of birth and place of enumeration in the following way the whole information is classified into migrants and non migrants and subsequently lifetime 
in migrants lifetime out migrants and net life time streams let us assume that there are four sub regions a b c and d in a country and in any census the distribution of enumerated population is as shown in the classification the sum along the row values except the diagonal elements gives the out migrants from the regions and the sum of entries in any column excluding diagonal elements would give the in migrants to the region the out migrants from the region b c and d are equal to a 12 plus b 13 plus a 14 equal to x 1 similarly out migrants from the regions b c and d are equal to x2 x3 and x4 respectively the in migrants in region a are equal to a21 plus a31 plus a41 equal to y1 thus y2 y3 and y4 are the in migrants to region b c and d respectively it is to be noted that the sum of the total in migrants and total out migrants are equal the diagonal elements a11 a22 a33 and a44 denote the non migrants to region a b c and d respectively as their place of birth and place of enumeration are same the net lifetime migrants to any region can be obtained as the difference of in migrants and out migrants therefore net migrants to region a equal to y1 minus x1 taking into account the number of migrants means in and out both we can find out the percentage of lifetime migrants in a country that means the number of persons who are enumerated at different places other than their place of birth divided by the total population of that country and expressed in percentage a worked out example of place of the birth data is shown in the table this table shows the number of female born in different states cross classified by the states of enumeration the row total shows the number of persons enumerated in different states other than the states of birth whereas the column totals indicate the number of persons born in different states we may find that 37042826 females have their state of birth as andhra pradesh and they were enumerated in andhra pradesh since the total place of birth and place of enumeration of these females are the same they are non migrants for andhra pradesh according to the 2001 census in andhra pradesh 16723 women in migrated from bihar 21437 in chatisgarh and so on so in migrants to bihar from andhra pradesh are 16723 accordingly out migrants from andhra pradesh to bihar and chatisgarh are 13631 and 4982 respectively net migration is the difference between 
in and out migration this can well be understood from the table for example lifetime net migration in bihar is minus 3092 that means bihar has a loss of 3092 migrants in bihar has more out migrants to andhra pradesh than that of in migrants on the other hand net migration from up is positive estimation of intercensal migration from place of birth data can be obtained for each region if it is available for the same region at the two consecutive censuses it can be estimated by subtracting the survival of migrant count in the first census from the migrants counted in the second census since all those who were counted as migrants in the first census will not survive to the second census it is necessary to apply an appropriate survival ratio to the migrant counted in the first census and get the number of migrants who survive up to second census the indirect estimate of intercensal net migration can be given as nm net migration equal to i t plus 1 minus o t plus 1 minus s i i t minus s o o t where nm is net intercensal migration i t number of lifetime in migrants at time t in a particular area i t plus n number of lifetime in migrants at time t plus 1 in that particular area o t number of lifetime out migrants at time t from that particular area o t plus n number of lifetime out migrants at time t plus 1 from that particular area s i and s o are intercensal survival ratios indicating what proportion of i t and o t that will survive during the intercensal period n m equal to i t plus 1 minus s i i t plus s o o t minus o t plus n so net migration n m equal to m1 plus m2 where i t plus 1 minus s i i t equal to s o o t minus O T plus N equal to M two. Thus, from this expression, we can find out not only an estimate of the net balance of intercensal migration, but also the net balance in its two components, that is, net migration among persons born outside the area M one, and among the persons born within the area M two. limitations of this method in applying this method the problem arises in the estimation of survival ratio s1 and s0 the accurate estimation of survival ratios requires a considerable amount of data and computation because s1 and s0 are different as in migrants and out migrants differ in their age structure there are several procedures to estimate these two parameters some are elaborated and more accurate and some are simpler but not quite accurate estimation of survival ratio is very important if the data on age distribution of outborn in migrants persons are not available 
it is almost impossible to estimate the survival ratios accurately. In such a situation, we take S1 and S0 both as equal to overall census ratio. That means ratio of persons aged n years and above in the country at the second census to persons of all ages in the first census, where n is the interval between the two censuses in terms of years. Let Pt be the total population at time t, Pn plus, comma, t plus n be the population aged n and above at time t plus 1, where n is the interval between the two censuses. Then the overall survival ratio s equal to p n plus 1 comma t plus 1 divided by p t. The overall survival ratio can also be approximately estimated from an appropriate life table covering the intercensal period as s equal to tn divided by to where tn and to are stationary population above as n and o respectively though the census survival ratios may not measure the accurate probability of survival and there may be some error in the migration estimates. Definitely, it will be more accurate than the one obtained by ignoring the mortality factor completely. If we ignore the mortality factor, the earlier equation is reduced to net m1 equal to nm1 equal to it plus n minus it plus ot minus ot plus n equal to m11 plus m12. On a comparison of the estimates obtained from above equation, we find that if the mortality factor is ignored, net intercensal migration among outborn and inborn persons will be underestimated by the number of deaths among IT and OT during the intercensal period. If IT is large enough, it will be reduced when multiplied by S1 and same is the case with OT. However, without using the mortality component, the errors as IT and OT have opposite signs. Nevertheless, negligence of the effect of mortality is likely to cause underestimation. So far, we have learnt that on the basis of place of birth and place of enumeration data, the migration status of an individual can be determined. If the place of enumeration is different from the place of birth, the person is known as a migrant. However, if both the places are same, the individual is treated as non-migrant. Using this technique, we can also calculate net migration from any area. Questions: Who are migrants referred to as migrant according to place of birth? Estimate the out-migration and in-migration among males from and to the major states of India using census 2001 data. Thank you students.